drink with my fuck stick. 22 cent booty pit. 24 make movie flip. 26 mile high club. Three sims in a bathtub. GT for the lap up. Pray to God you meet each other in the mall or something. Ask you to hate me. Cause I fucked her best friend. She wanted to be a lesbian. Me too. Fat bitch when the eat too. Fat poom on E2. Beat you. Slide to your wall walls. Ebony. POV. Met you on poor her. Hashtag. All cats. Fat ass. No water. Fuck his money daughter. Ow. So you gotta, you gotta hit the. Ow. I hate phones. <laughs> I hate phones. Man. I do. I dropped my jump. I dropped my phone. You know, I, I was saying earlier, so sweatpants, right? So I was doing a, uh, I was doing a house cleaning earlier, and I, I don't know why I put my sweatpants in my back. I mean, my, my my sweatpants in my back pocket. I don't know why I put my phone in my back pocket. Um, Need the zipper joints, man. So joints but, the zipper but, though, man. So I had the zippers on the side. Yeah. But I put it in the back. The back pocket. So of course, I don't walk up the steps. I run. But when I run, I do like a little, you know, like a like a I don't know. I call I guess a guy a guy hop. I be, uh, Mm-hmm. And that jump just said, uh. and it just fell and up. Blue, 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 fell in the water. Blue, blue, blue. Nah, nah, it just fell down oh, the steps, okay. but it like cartwheeled the whole way down. Happy New Year, everybody! So my phone jumped. New so Year, new jump us. Fix, you know. If this happens to be your first time tuning in, this is the one, the only, the, the, the two two real radio. radio. Jen Strong, lover of yeah. life, 2019. Happy to be in here once again. Always, always. Chuck Wagon, as always. And, uh, I'm over here struggling with this dumbass phone, man. I'm your man, C. <laughs> <laughs> uh, happy New Year, man. Happy New Year. Happy New, happy New, happy New, New Year. Year. Yeah, happy New Year's, yeah. yeah so, uh, anybody, any, back, anybody do back. anything special for New Year's? Got some good rest, man. Good, good rest. Like, for real. Is. Like a. Me and that day, I was up. I, I must have been going around. I'm telling you, man, for real, everybody I talked to was I, like, I man, woke I up just, just in the nick of time enough to see Steve Harvey in his church coat. See, I heard about Steve Harvey. See, I, I ain't even seen him. Your man looked like ball dropping on your man looked like dark. almost missed it. Your man yeah. looked like Darkwing Duck, young. Do you remember Darkwing yeah, Duck? Yeah, Darkwing Duck. <laughs> anybody, anybody remember Darkwing Duck? Yeah, the purple joint. The man, he had the gloves, the purple. He had like a little, like, like. Texture oh, to it. Yeah, he looked like Dark Wing Duck. Yo. Super he looked bad, my The remake, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mr. Potato Head as Dark Wing Duck. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I missed the uh, shit, I missed the ball drop. When you I looked it. up, it was 1201. We missed just the ball drop. Me and my just and wifey it. just hit a half five and went to sleep, man. That's right. Uh, yeah. That's right. One year I was peeing through the through the countdown. I went in the bathroom, had was drunk, went in that joint, yeah, you know, countdown stood there for a minute, shit. was yeah. peeing, it came out and it was over. I was like, damn. I was like, all right, let me yeah. go ahead, let me go ahead and pee right <laughs> fast. And you know, but stop going normally, out on you New Year's years ago. Drop? Y'all normally watch the ball drop? Yeah, pretty much. Like that's like that's like a little tradition, right? I mean, you watch the ball drop. When I couldn't drink and stuff or be out for it. I, but ever since I started drinking for real, I just miss it every year. Like I'm normally <laughs> in somewhere. Fifteen more minutes, everybody. Get ready, you gonna miss it. And I'm the guy that misses it every time. Yeah, I'm outside. Yeah. I'm about to come back in in a minute. I just you yeah, ten. Mm-hmm. Nah, yeah, yeah, I haven't mean, no, yeah, I mean, no, yeah. <laughs> Not the day for me to be getting caught out. Um, oh no, 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 man. Nah, the days are going out and all that good stuff. Nah, no, my me. thing has always been my thing has always been special days. Stay the fuck out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like my people, be like what are you gonna do for your birthday? I'd be like, stay in the house. It's two things you don't want to do on your birthday. Get arrested and get shot or something like that. So I stay low. Genuine, yeah, I but I used to love New Year's, though, when I was younger, though. That was I a special. I mean, you know, that was, it was the move. It. it was like, you know, New I, Year's, I, I the party, no all that. I don't drink, so just don't the do, drunk people just, just don't, don't do it for me no more. You know. I think I told you, man. I call it Happy New Year! New Year, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm celebrating New Year's, though, yeah. And we had our drinks and shit. I mean, we had a good time. Happy New Year! It's like if you get a New face. Year's smoochy smooch. <laughs> man, you come in my face with all that, you get a New Year's smooch. <laughs> 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 get out smooch, of here, drunk huh? guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, any resolutions? Anybody? Anybody? Nah, Anybody? you know, I don't do so resolutions, man. Resolutions. Just, uh, you know, I get better yeah. every day, mm-hmm. you know. Just another it's day to be better, thing, man. Another you know? year to Turn be better. Turn over leaves every day, yeah. you know. I've been trying Still. to get some weights, you know what I'm saying? Resolution to yeah. get swollen this year? Trying to I live mean, this love thing. Get my weight back. I, won, I, I got on the scale the other day. I wasn't pleased. I wasn't mad, but I wasn't pleased. You trying yeah. to gain weight? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I got to get back up. I wasn't pleased. I wasn't. You know what I mean? People like that. They wish they... Their issue was to gain weight. Yeah, I've been the same, like most people's issue weight. is to lose weight. So I've been you know, the same weight position, for 20 man. years now, man. I, I, I got it. I mean, it's fluctuated here and there, but... So from your high school weight, you about the same? 
I'm actually less than I was in high school. I was 175 in high school. I'm like 163 now. I right, get back to 175, but you be all right though. You know, what I mean? because for real, I mean, if you at your high school weight, I mean, you know, especially one, when getting one, older and shit. One, that's, that's one, big. One, I was 195 before. Wow. I was walking around like this. I was strong as shit. <laughs> I was 190, I was, pregnant. I was, I was lifting grown men Same in the pregnant. air and shit. Same I was pregnant. like, hey, what's this? 190. It was heavy. I had to stop though. My girl was like, nope. I, I, the first time I came when I got, you know, say got to where I was all swollen and shit. I climbed on top of her. She scooted back, put her foot up in my chest, and was like, "Nope, <laughs> so that's got, all. That's got to go." <laughs> Each <laughs> child, I gain more weight. Gain my weight, yeah. Oh, I don't, maybe that. Maybe that's not true. Maybe I just lost less weight each time. No, I could dig that. I could dig that. Yeah. Pounds, little, you know little something mm-hmm. stay around a little but bit. When I was up to one ninety, woo. So a new year also means a new, uh, you know, the new bag. Candy, new candy, the bag, right? new bag of the week. Bag. Got a brand bag new bag of the week week. for the week. Right, so, so one more time, so what we got? That was it Haribo? 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 It's Haribo. The Haribo sour Haribo. cubes. Haribo. Go Haribo. find Haribo. some of these. As well. Sour cubes. Sour cubes with the All exotic right. flavors. Those, those we got the, the sour blood orange, the sour dragon fruit, the sour passion fruit, the sour gooseberry, the sour plum, and the sour mango. Sound all right. We're going to try them out. We're going to try them out. So, yeah, that's a new joint to start, to the, you. start the year off right with some, what you say, Harubos? Harubo. Can't go wrong. Yeah, I've been saying that shit wrong the whole time. I ain't never. Haribo. Haribo. I never know. I never knew the name of it. All right, so anyway, cool, man. Yeah. So yeah, so so what else on the docket, man? What we got? Uh, what we got jumping in there? Uh, right? This week, this week. So I got some serious joints, of course. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, the new got a new Congress just got sworn in today. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and um, I was gonna talk about you know how they keep booing my uh, how they keep booing my boo and shit. You know that uh, uh, um, oh, what's her name? Osadio, uh, 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 Rose, what's her name? Oh, 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 uh, um, um, Cortez up in New say, York, right? Yeah. New York, they, they yeah. give her the blues, man. They just, they just, uh, they done released a video of her doing some flash dance type mm-hmm. dance and right. something. You know, look at this. And, and, and Trump had the nerve to say something about it. Like, it was, he been uh, caught up with. It wasn't. You know, it all wasn't the porn was, stars and shit. If like, anything, on, if anything, it was cringeworthy. It was like, oh my god, I can't believe you did. Like it's one of them things that you wish you didn't do. But she the in one college. that wasn't a politician. She just right, right, right. and, yeah. and, and yeah. one, you know, mm-hmm. she uh. Yeah, outside Maybe views. Everybody did stuff in their past. Come but the, the video crazy thing, it wasn't even a bad video. It's nothing that you couldn't Trump show your parents. Mm-hmm. She was just dancing. She was just literally, something. literally dancing around like like uh uh the breakfast uh the breakfast club. Kind of just dancing around on so the she rooftop. Was like a stripper or something? Nah, not oh. literally dancing, skipping around. You remember the breakfast club? So, so what was they talking about? They, they were to, just like look at her. And, I mean, just look at her they, dancing. Yeah, just look at her. Look at the way she. I mean, it was just how it much did they have to dig? How much did they have to dig to find that? Just right. to, and it was so just to say look at her. G. It was so super. Like I watched it and I was almost embarrassed for her for actually dancing like that and filming it. Like, like, oh, mm. that's something you do in your home in your underwear. Like, you don't put that on. This was recent, or this was like they, they, they found college. oh, college. They went and dug a college video up of her just scooting across the joint, doing the little leg. I mean, it was ridiculous. Yeah. So then, of course, she got sworn in today, and out of two hundred, I mean, where well, they took the vote for Pelosi today, out of two hundred Democrats, she's the only one that they booed. They booed her. The, the GOP booed mm. the shit out of her. Just boo when they mentioned her name. Yeah, it's terrible, yeah. man. It's, 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 should um, be, they shouldn't be allowed to boo like that. Like, grow up. And then we but, have, but think about it, if it was the other way around, then they would be like, grow up, you need to be this. But well, then well, when they, they, well, they right. decide to do it, it's like, oh, we, so we just have did a this. president. Yeah, we have a president who will call, you know, African country shitholes, right. uh, sons of sons bitches. Sons of bitches, um, all that shit, right. Grab, yeah, don't grab, nobody grab say nothing about it, right. Where, where your but morals at when that shit we have a lady by the name uh, uh, Michigan's, uh, De- Michigan's uh, representative, uh, Rashida Tlaib, in a... In a Oh, I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, going to impeach that yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Impeach that um, motherfucker. <laughs> right. Too far. Is it? I think it is. Oh, no, no. You no, can't fight. No. You no. can't fight ignorance with ignorance, man. You can't go. Well, what's you ignorant can't about saying motherfucker? Look, thing, I, I mean, for real, what's ignorant about saying motherfucker? You can't say about like, the president that we're going to impeach this motherfucker. What's, what's you can wrong say we're going to impeach this guy. We can say we're going to impeach this clown. You cannot call him a motherfucker. Like, what? What's the issue? You can't say clown either. 
Why can't you? Why you can't say we going to impeach this motherfucker? No point in saying none of that. Just do it. I mean, the age now where it's like you when you stoop to somebody's level. Yeah, I mean, but you can't stoop. Other than that, you can't. You can't go to. You can't go to Trump's level. Yeah, you can't. And they're gonna give him. You can't go to Trump's level. See, see, that's the thing. See, that's the one thing where we disagree. It's politics. This ain't how. This isn't home talk. All that turn the other cheek and don't stoop to their level and all that shit. But at the same time, they can do the same thing. You have to because just because the president does, we gonna piece this motherfucker or grab him by the pussy. Which one is worse? Neither. Both no, I'm comparing don't do the two. Either. No, 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 I'm comparing the two. Right. Damn, damn. You all right? Oh, That's why the phone. Good. That's why the phone ain't no good. You can't do either. No, man. At the end of the day, I'm comparing those two, though. All I'm saying is just that. Put it, put it like this. Put it like this. I heard either the talk. Either one of them are acceptable. I heard what everybody was trying to say about it, but it's like, come on, man. I mean, it's like, all right. So what about the Nero joint? Fuck Trump. What, what was De Niro is not a politician. He's not a politician. He acts as a politician. So because you're a politician, as, yeah. you gotta have a certain type of. You do. You you just have to. As a politician, to, yes. You can't just say what you want to say as a politician. You just can't be like you know we're going peach his mother. It that just is, makes it. He's not a politician. Uh, you fucked your screen up a nerd. It's been like it. That's what oh, I'm trying to say. Right. So so <laughs> it's, it's down. This is the cartwheel down the steps. Yeah. But this is what I'm saying. As as you show him how to be a politician. That stoop down to the everything level. that we felt was uh, bad about Trump. And we see him doing the, the the sons of bitches, the whatever, whatever, whatever. You can't fire back with the same thing. You just can't do it. It just makes him, you give him more validity by doing what he's doing. You're saying that it's okay that you're doing that, so we're going to do it too. You got to, you got to, I, I hate to sound so cliche, so corny. You have to be better. better. Was, you have to rise above whatever right. he's doing. You got to be better than him. Foot. She was on the other foot. Wouldn't you, can't fight no this, you can't fight this jackass by being a jackass. You can't, I mean, this is just not going to work. I think she just chose. There you go. Just, you know. Say it again. Two rights don't. My man hit it right on the head. Two rights don't make a wrong. Uh, all she Two said, wrongs don't make a right. None of that shit did. You all, she, all she did was cuss. I mean, okay, she cussed. But, but, I mean, but you have okay. to be better than your opposition. By not cussing? I mean, yes. she just cussed. I you could have said shit. You could have said fuck. You could have said damn, but you can't call the sitting president. The same thing we said when they were doing it to Obama. Say, you cannot call a sitting rallies, president. Though. What do you say when he go to that his doesn't rallies, make it right. All the shit he's that, I'm not saying to make it right, so, but so, what I'm saying so is that I'm not going to put war comes home with and they get, you have a kid, But next time your child comes home with a bite mark on him, you tell him to go bite the next kid or, well, you got bit, so go bite somebody else's somebody kid. Somebody hit you, hit him back. No? Yeah, it's, it's not the no. same. It's I'm not, not telling same. you to start a fight, but somebody hits you, damn well, hit him back. What are you talking about? If somebody hits the teacher, the teacher can't hit the student back. It's, 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 it's levels to what you can't do that that, that escalate. It's going to escalate it. I'm now that now that he's a motherfucker, now she can be a bitch. You cannot cross those lines in politics. It, it, it's a, it, see that's the thing. That's why I don't get down with should, politics. Can, but but politics is bullshit, man. You're the example. You it, have it to set. You have to be the example. Be an example. And for them to you be should, right, you should be. But we all wave, see all the time. For this new wave of women these. coming in, being voted to be an example, you cannot do shit like that. No, me on I could do stuff, but you can't. You can, you have to be better than no. what they think that you're gonna do. What you they think you're gonna be? I, like I say, man. I, I, so that's I, that's my man, take on that. I don't, I don't see it as being super like. <gasps> it's just like, all right, man, we are gonna impeach this motherfucker. I mean, think Nancy Pelosi saying we are gonna impeach him. I mean, she just said I mean, him. But, no. I mean, but I, understand, I understand. I understand the choice of words. It's I pronoun. <laughs> you have to watch your choice of words. Yeah, yeah. So, so. Speaking for everybody, they for everybody, they yeah. for everybody, they do. Not right? Just, there you go. Not just yeah. They have to so, okay, so, yeah. so my funny stories now, right? I got two real fast. The McDonald's ass whooping. You yeah. saw that, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, you saw yeah. that, right? Bing, bing, so, bing, 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 bing. Your privilege is only going to get you so far. You cannot reach across the, across the, yeah. the counter and grab somebody up. And but, two, you don't know who you're grabbing. Turns out this young lady is a trained boxer. Right, yeah. So she, so she hit him. Yeah. I mean, everything she threw, she landed. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you, though, I'm Same calling spot. out. I'm calling out the dudes that watched it. That, Punk. That's bullshit Punk. to me. You cannot Punk allow. Dude. I don't care, black woman, white woman, Asian right, woman, just, just a dude, one legged woman, woman like prostitute. You cannot watch right. a woman get her get 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 handled by a right. guy and not stand in and be. And and yoked her up. Yoked her up quick. I mean, you saw the way she hit the uh, hit the yeah, counter. She bounced like off the jump. And they just kind of like watching it. Nah, man. The other dude came to like you. Just can't. You can't. Can't. You can't do that. Nah. You can't. You can't. But that's what you get. Yeah. That's what you get. You yeah. got you got arrested. You probably gonna be fired. 
and you got your ass whooped by by. She but had they, to be but he only got pounds. two simple counts of uh, misdemeanor. I mean, he ain't, no, he ain't doing no jail time off that shit. No, nah, two gonna, simple I mean, counts. He did a couple hours. That's they tried to say he kicked somebody too. You heard that? Yeah, yeah, on, he, on his he, way out. He kicked somebody on the way out. <laughs> on never the way out. How you get out though? Think about it. How you even get out? That ass whooping was enough for me, man. I lock the doors. You ain't going nowhere. They really have a chance of. I mean, they they could have pulled her put a reporter off or got NBC. She do enough punches for somebody to get in the middle of that. You don't know who you know. I don't really fault them because if they are, if they work with her, then they probably know she a trained fighter. They probably wanted well, to shit, see. I'm still not going to let that they happen. Probably yeah, wanted yeah, to yeah. See. I mean, you I still mean, not- I mean, but, it but happened even, so fast. I mean, nah, nah, nah. She, she got about a good. She well, she got yeah, about a good. Took, yeah, she hit him about ten times. Yeah, I mean, she. she <laughs> uh, 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 and then look, uh, then when he uh, when his hands got let go, she was still holding on to yeah, him. She like, she, that boy. Yeah, she pulled him at that point. She had more, the death grip on. So that was that one. Um, crazy man. Charlotte, Charlotte, North Charlotte. Uh, guy tries to kidnap a lady. She runs. Into mean? a karate studio. There's another story. Another ass oh, whooping. Shit, she man, went man. into a karate studio. Dude got his ass whooped. Another one. Tried to kidnap her. She ran North Carolina. North Carolina Charlotte. Yeah. Got into a karate studio. Ran into. Yeah. Uh, they ended up taking the dude out on the stretcher. <laughs> wow. They said the instructor fucked him up. Yeah. I mean, beat his ass. So congratulations to the guy Damn. for taking up for you know doing what, what's what that the other guy couldn't instant do. Instant karma. Instant karma. Yeah, instant I mean, karma all the places to run to. She, you know, what I'm saying, or well, trying to snatch a woman. Out, you know, what saying. Quick. Right, and if she didn't quick, think yeah. that's just a hell of a place to run, good, right. in, good survival instincts. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? She ran to Dragonfly Jones. You know what I'm saying? So they got yeah. one joint. Uh, this is a classic video on YouTube where it's a pimp outside with hit you know, with and the, he hit, hit the lady, the and, the, and the dude just so happened it was a karate school across the street, and he came Again. out and like you said, caught him on the neck. Yeah, hit him with and the drop. Uh, and then remember, she holding him up, trying to you know get across the street. Trying to do a tough yeah, guy. He had no shirt on. I remember they had the little tango with no shirt. You know you messing with some Here's man. what my brother always says: You don't know who's doing what. You, you know what I'm saying? And if you watch, if you watch enough UFC, like I watch. You'll realize that it's it's guys that look like the school nerd, the school whatever. They glasses, they have you know the, the ears are out here. Look for cauliflower yeah. here. Oh yeah, look for cauliflower. <laughs> if you see a guy with cauliflower here and he's up in your face, you better get your ass whooped. You get choked out at the least. I mean, you know, you don't know who knows what. You don't know who's doing what, and you may you know mm-hmm. get your ass whooped. Yeah, so. That, those are my two stories I asked what been the rest political blah blah blahs mm-hmm. and that was that was it so what's on the docket for the new year today man? We today a, today a nice well to we on. have excuse me we have Dave from Soapbox Soaps they make um what Dave, 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 Dave. oh d- damn hey what's up I said what's up Dave <laughs> uh, man you right I'm, I'm all over the place my bad what's up Dave yeah there we go and then and we there have uh, Miss Stephanie Freeman from uh, Relish Market okay so um uh, urban gardening, stuff like that. So I'm um, going to get into that. What urban gardening is. We're going to take a quick, quick break. All right, cool. And we'll Miniature. be right back. Miniature. Back. Miniature. Super Radio. Back. Miniature break. Cool.
Welcome back to our show, everybody. Now, is it possible for everybody to have their own box? <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, box, I, got, I got box it. I don't like the way that sound, box it. Oh. We are back. We'll be like, We're here's back. a story of a two-wheel radio <laughs> with the boxes. Yeah. We're back. <laughs> and we're joined by Miss Stephanie Freeman. How are you? How are you? How are Welcome you? to our show, Miss Stephanie well. Freeman. Thank you. I'm happy to be Thank here. Thank you for coming. We happy to have you. Absolutely. And you're from Relish Market, right? I'm from Relish Market. Okay. Um, what exactly is Relish Market? So Relish Market comprises of um, urban farm, and um, we sell local produce. We sell um, spices, local foods. Um, and hot sauces um, and condiments, pretty much. Okay, now you said urban farm. What exactly is urban farming? So urban farming is just farming. It's on a small scale. It's in an urban setting, um, such as the city. Um, there's quite a few that, that are here in the city. I'm actually in Mount Rainier, okay, um, Maryland, which is just right outside the city. Um, I am also the farmer in residence at New Brooklyn Farms, which is also in Mount Rainier. We still supporting local, everybody. That's right. Y'all know local where that is. Way. Y'all know where Mount Rainy is. <laughs> so, Absolutely. so, so, uh, farming has been come become uh, pretty big. My neighbors next door have a huge garden, all types of peppers, basil. Basil's really nice; smells wonderful. Um, mm -hmm. Somebody down the block's doing some stuff. Um, what started the craze all of a sudden with everybody in these small, you know, doing urban farming? What's it's a need to get back to the very basics of, of what we've been doing. I mean, how we survived. Um, I, I, I love the movement towards it, um, the different um, kind of women involved, um, men involved. It's, it's, you know, across the racial ba boundaries and everything. Um, and it's just getting, getting back to the, the very basic thing that, you know, we need to survive. Um, learning, learning how to do that, teaching others how to do that, 
Um, you know, that DC is full of um, a lot of food deserts. Um, you teach people how to grow on their own, um, you know, it can help at least, you know, bite into some of that. Um, survival. It's funny that you say that because I was watching something the other day that was saying that, um, I was watching a documentary the other day and it was saying that we're being taken away from what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to, we're supposed to know how to cultivate land. We're supposed to know how to grow Absolutely. our own food. Um, and now we're in a position where we're dependent on somebody else to, like you said, survive. So we're d we're depending on someone else to survive. Um, it, it takes a seed, <laughs> a seed, some water, some dirt. Um, you know, you can grow in a planter. It, it's you know, people have this idea of all this farmland and it's acres and acres and stuff has to be imported. Um, you know, there's so many farms that are just right around here in Prince George's County, Montgomery County, you know, all, all in Maryland and in Virginia that are local and we can get produce directly from them. And it's not something that we should feel so separated from. We're, this is what you're eating. This is what you're ingest, ingesting. You should know where it comes from. And what about the weather here? It's, it's it's really like, it's really yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. So you know you have the off season, of course. Mm -hmm. um, you know you're gonna have November through maybe February, okay. March that you're not gonna be able to do anything unless you were in a um, like a high tunnel or some type of greenhouse setting. But or if you're doing it indoors, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and plenty of people do that. Um, but our, our season is, in, is is long enough. It is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how did you get started? Um, with urban gardening, um, was it a hobby of yours, or is it just something that you? So my grandfather was. Um, he, he always kept a garden, okay. um, and I used to, you know, pretend help him when I was a kid. Um, so he taught me a lot. Um, I have a daughter. Um, shout out to Granddad. Yeah, mm -hmm. shout out to Granddad. Right. May he rest in peace. Yes. Mm -hmm. May he rest um, in peace. Absolutely. So um, my daughter and I started when she was maybe like four or five. I got a couple of um, plants from like the Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that, and um, you know, just sat it out on the little on the deck. And you know, a few years later, it was just bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. um, and I just enjoyed it. It's like my zen. It's my happy place. So. I enjoy doing that. What are some, um, for somebody that's interested in, in doing ur ur urban gardening, what is something good they can start that's not too difficult, that doesn't require too much uh, hands-on, that they basically couldn't kill? <laughs> no, I mean, you know, some people, <laughs> you're right. laughing, but some no. people don't have some a green, people some people, have the green thumb. Um, you it, know, over it. water, underwater, you know, it just, it's it's destined to die. I mean, so what is something that, you know, sure. almost I is mean, kill proof? I, I mean, I guess maybe some herbs, but I, I've seen people kill herbs. Yeah, so kill some herbs. Herbs are right. delicate. Very right. delicate. It's very, yeah, right. Um, so my once they go, they don't come back. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Right. Some plants, once they go a little bit, you might can bring them back. Right. I've seen that. They might get a mm -hmm. little dry, and you're like, oh, let me put some water in it, and it can come right. back. But, but you herbs, can, you can once they get a little crunchy, mm -hmm. that's like, <laughs> oh, oh, I messed that up. Right. Right. I hear you. I mean, the, the very basic is going to be like a tomato plant. Um, you know, you can get them in usually like in planters that you don't even have to transplant. Just get it, play with it, you know, mm -hmm. learn learn the habits, right. <laughs> you know, learn, make sure you know how much sunshine mm -hmm. is required for, you know, for each one because that could come up as well. <laughs> so, so what does it take to get like a, a nice juicy tomato versus just, okay, I grew a tomato in my backyard, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like how do you get that I, I would say store quality, I guess, uh, or something like that? Across the board, it's the quality of your soil GMO, and that sorry. takes time <laughs> to build. To, to so cultivate, if you're yeah. Right, if you're cultivating your soil over time um, and you're feeding it nutrients and you're letting the whole natural ecosystem go mm -hmm. um, and you're not putting any, um, you know, bad type of uh, pollutants in it, um, after a while, you know, it'll so be... So keep at it, basically. Mm -hmm. the first, you might not get it the first couple times, right. but it get better and mm -hmm. it get better and it get better. Exactly. You got to keep at it. Mm -hmm. And once again, she took what she loved doing, y'all, and she mm -hmm. turned it into something beautiful. Well, it's, it's crazy that you say that. Like, this is I was supposed to say this early, but it's actually January is National Hobby Month. So, you know, Ooh. taking something that, you know, as a hobby for you and, and turning it into something um, profitable. And how long have you been doing it? For a good nine, about nine or ten years. Nine mm -hmm. or ten years. What's your social media for the people? Absolutely. So I am Relish Market, um, also at relishmarket.com. I also um, 
produce hot sauces and um, spice blends under uh, Pepperly Love. Hmm. Y'all go find her, okay. Relish yeah. Market and so Pepperly how, Love. So how'd you make that transition from growing the stuff to like, all right, now I'm about to start bottling and making it's sauces no, and things like that. An abundance of peppers. Just, right. just like, yeah, what so, I'm going to do with all these damn peppers? Right? Right. So I, <laughs> that I green thumb was too good. <laughs> gravitating towards peppers, and I was just growing so many. Um, so I started making products with it um, and came up with a line of hot, hot sauces and stuff like that. Um, so you like spicy food, obviously, is that? Not like, no, not overly. Yeah. I don't have to have the spice. So I do like a little, just like a little hint, but mm -hmm. you know, nothing too overwhelming. I don't want to kill the taste buds. You know, mm -hmm. I wanted to enhance my meal. Uh, no, okay. So no, okay. that's that's what I focus on: building layers of flavor, um, a little bit of heat. Um, but I do try to meet people who, um, you know, where they are in terms of they just can't get enough heat. You know, mm -hmm. so I, mm -hmm. I bring that as well. And I'm moving these out the way so y'all can see the variation in the colors. Look at that. Look how pretty <laughs> that is. little rainbow. <laughs> yeah, she got a little rainbow of peppery goodness going on up here. Right. Now, my, what I was going to ask you earlier is um, when you started doing your own vegetables, your own, did you notice a difference in flavor than what you were buying it's in night the and store? Day. It's mm -hmm. night and day. And, and not even just when I grow it. So because I set up at a lot of farmer's markets, I, I know a lot of farmers. Um, Shout out to the farmer's markets. Absolutely. You build up so a little I network. Get, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I go to them, you know, and I, I, I get vegetables and stuff from them. And the taste is just undeniably, you, you, you cannot match it. The, the farmer's market killed blueberries for me. Um, I go and I got some blueberries and I started just, and I was like, never. And then I went two days after that and was like, I need more blueberries. Farmer's mm -hmm. Market's another week away. I'll just go to the giant and get some blueberries. Not the so I couldn't do it. Really. Like the same. Yeah. I got like halfway through and I just let them, let them just the shrivel same. up in the refrigerator. So what was the difference? One tastes like a blueberry and one mm -hmm. tastes like somebody made a blueberry. If that, mm -hmm. if that, Makes that's sense. Exact, that's exactly. If that, uh, like I, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it, it tastes like right. what. Yeah, what it tastes like what a guy would what a guy would be like. This is what I think a blueberry tastes like. I created. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, 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 it tasted. Wow. Yeah, it it, it 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 was like oh my god, this is the best blueberry. Oh my god, that one was the be no, this one's the best one. And then going back to being like, that's not a blueberry. Like it didn't have the mm -hmm. same taste, the same texture, sugar, the same sweetness, the same freshness. It was just. Not good. Mm -hmm. It's like I, I I put it to um, playing an instrument and then playing on a beat machine. Like you get what that sound, what that interprets the sound mm -hmm. to be, and mm -hmm. that exactly what you don't get the emotion with it. You don't get the, you, you know what I mean? I, I guess that. I don't know. Yeah. I get it. I get it. You answered my too. question. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So what type of flavors are you having? I see you all yeah. have different right. Yeah, different absolutely. Drinks. I hope you guys are down for some, 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 some tasty. Right. I look like I'm going to eat my water. Yeah. So I have them in order here for the hot sauces. This is going to be the mildest here. It's called the bags. Kind of your everyday high-end level heat. Um, mm -hmm. Most It's approachable to most people. Um, makes a good wing sauce. The bag. The, the bag. bag. Right. Uh, you need to have that everything. in your bag. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Got hot sauce in my bag. That's <laughs> <laughs> we, as men, we don't really carry bags. Well, if like it's in that. your pocket, no, <laughs> right. I mean, you know, how would you come you on? I know you have your Gucci you bag, you say, your you Gucci say pouch somewhere. Nah. Right. You know, you sit you with your buddy, you sit with your buddy, and he pulls out hot right sauce out of his bag. bag. You'd be like, "What the <laughs> hell, man? You got hot sauce in your bag? Yeah. Fanny pack. Slide across the table. Fanny pack. Share that. Share that." <laughs> yeah, I do carry a backpack everywhere yes, I go. You so. Oh, see, yes. you came with the sack, right? Oh, yeah. That's what's so, up. There that's you go. Up. I keep, I keep go. a bag. Though. Absolutely. So <laughs> I have a sriracha. Um, Got a sriracha. So this yeah. is the second, second because level sriracha. Of heat right. right. Here, so it? yeah, everything's right. over. So the the bag is going to be the mildest. Only has like one pepper to indicate whatever. Mm -hmm. um, sriracha is going to be a step up. Um, the next one is Exodus. It has a really good uh, Caribbean type um, oh, no. flavor to it. <laughs> so a little kind of all spicy clovey on the back end. Um, lots of vegetables in it. So by the way, there's no fillers. There's no preservatives other than there vinegar um, back to, that back goes to into natural. it. Mm -hmm. Um, all plant based. You know what's everything. coming. You, no middleman. Mm -hmm. Nobody's sneaking nothing in your stuff. You know where it's coming from. You're right. Say it again. You know, I don't know what that is. It's a biblical fast. Okay. Yeah, they do, yeah. I, I, if 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 that is no no additives, no, it's just it's just um probably a little. Um, no, I think it's 
think maybe one or two may have some sugar, but the other ones I, I sweeten with like carrots or something mm. natural, right? Cool. What's next? Right, so then the next up, All right, the next one is going to be Stinger. Yeah. That's made with citrus. a fatality well, that looks pretty good, pepper, yeah. which is really citrus. citrusy. I like the color on that. Ginger that's goodness. what I'm saying. Anytime color, I see yeah. hot Different. sauce that's not wow. red, it always intrigues me. Like yeah, those. so, I mean, the red. pepper comes in a yellow and comes in a red. I chose a yellow because I wanted to get, wow. you know, a different, something different, different something, presentation. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. It's about like as hot the as the hottest too. habanero you ever had. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so um, Blaze is the next one. That one's actually made with pepper powders. It's made with the Carolina Reaper powder and oh, some chili man. pepper. Wow. So you guys are familiar with the Carolina yeah, Reaper. Yeah, yeah, so, no yeah. Yeah. I grow loads of that, but um, it's the hottest pepper. Have you had one? Have you done a challenge? Have you had one? No, you because I'm saying. Oh, you know my. people do that? Like, yeah, people, yeah, people right? do that. No, 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 no. I like mm, myself. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and then, uh, so, this so is the, the next awesome one, yep, the hottest one is going to be Fatal. Let's go. Mm. Yeah, sounds like that. So, so, so what's let, in Fatal? Let me know which one. Like. It's the Carolina Reaper, the Scorpion Pepper, and the Ghost Pepper. Oh, so it's the blend. I want to. I want to go. I want to go three. The last three on down. down. That's just last not even. Let's just, 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 just the two just, real just challenge right over the first. Is that three. what we doing though? Just two real challenge. Just. That's y'all could do whatever challenge y'all want to do. Let's go. Let's go. What are you doing? I just want to take. My, my man, you want to take the fire, Ladies first. Oh, stinger. My man, all right, cool. I'll go, I'll go st- hey. sting, stinger on down. Stinger. Hey, we got one that's going to take. Uh, my man said so he's going to take Citrus the fire. Citrus and ginger goodness. I said my man. I didn't say he was my man. Oh, uh, oh no. Anybody I guess because of the height, the heat. Like I'll take that. I'll, I'll, I'll try it. <laughs> That's it right there? What? Yeah, that is the one I want to try right there. You say this level four right here? What, I don't need to go that's no three. higher than that's that right there. That's level three? Oh, that's mm-hmm. level three on the game. Oh. I don't need to go no higher than that right there. I'm about to beat the game, though. Hold Woo! Hey, any fatals? You want a fatal? All right, cool. Hi. Do you want to try the singer or do you want to make okay, sure you want so a fatal? Okay, so here's the problem, it's right? It's good, though. That's it's a, good. No, Here's I mean, the problem. Which was on something. Yeah, it's not on anything. It's not on anything. I oh. thought you wanted the best. So I'm kind of a... It's in my ear, though. <laughs> it's, in my ear, it's, in, it's in my ear. That's good. I'm right, sort go of a, a pepper Ooh. purist. I, I, I could go one. I, I like to... That, that, that. I can't go no higher than that. So this is a little... Uh, That's high enough for me. I like to get in my ear. straight on the spoon. That's a good job. Oops. You don't have to eat it all. I get a little... I got a nice little... There's no waste in the studio. We don't waste anything. That's not bad. Now, this would actually That's be good on, on I can go down. I can my go taco up. spot. I, I got a taco down. spot. It got the spice in right. me, and it got that, that twist on it. Too. I got I, I got a, I got a good taco spot that I go to. That'll be perfect on my tacos. That'll be perfect. You like that? We're yeah. going to fade it? Yeah. Awesome. We're going to fade it? It doesn't really like you said potato? No, that's not spicy. No. I got this one right here. We're going fatal. Let's go oh, fatal. No. That was a three. Three. Woo. Let's go. Three out of four. Let's go. Oh, you got to evaluate like, oh, the vibe. I'm ready for number four. I'll take it. Let's go. Oh, you good? No, that's level oh, five. Right? That's five? No, I don't want to go straight to five. Oh, what what happened to four? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I got to take What happened to four? I, I'm going to th- three, four, five. I got to go three, four, five. I can't go three, five. See, my thing is that's, like, that's like my son did. He just jumped over a whole shoe size. I need to go size, 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 size. I got to, you know what I'm saying? It don't even come out. I don't want it. I know. It's, no, really, no point, no. it's, no point, really, it's no. really thick. Yeah. Mm-mm. Now I'm good. Water's going to make it worse. No. Yeah, water. Yeah, I'm about to say water. Water's going to make it worse. Water's going to taste the bag and I'm good. What's that? There you go. Oh, man. There we go. Fatal. No, I don't want fatal. It's the fever four. right there. There we go. Yeah. That's, that's, you, that's right? four? No, no. I thought four was, I thought four was fatal. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, we we need to have you on camera doing yeah, You got to get on camera with it, D. Go on camera. You don't want to get on camera with it? Yeah, he bullshit. Yo, this hey, is a, I mean, look. Now, just in case the show doesn't just, finish, D is the yeah. engineer. So just in case. Right. <laughs> no, it's All right, let's check it out. What's the second What's the second to last? What's that? And fatal, no. There you go. Yeah. Do your That's thing. fatal. There you go, D. That's what's up. You'll survive. You go. She got some. She got some. She got some other spices up here, though. Boom, 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 boom. She got a chili paste up here. She got a mild pepper relish. You going fatal? She got Chuck? some hot honey up you going here. Fatal? Caribbean pepper sauce and everything crunch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do her so Oh my goodness. Don't die. Damn. You don't have to use it. Hey, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Chuck, I, oh, I'll take half of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's gonna be a little small. Nah, nah, yeah. Chuck, don't do that to yourself. I got you. Not nah, I just wanted, I meant really. All right, that's good. Nah, no, that's good, yeah, because I, I really didn't want to do it. 3D, though, right? When she put the jar on, though, right? Let me taste the on everything one. All right. And then I'm good. Oh, no. 
That's the hat that's gonna come later. That's gonna come later. See, it, 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 it wasn't even anything when it went down. That's the most mild. It's a spice without the crazy spice if that makes sense. You know, without the angry heat. It ain't all over your mouth type spice. Yeah. Okay, so why they why they over there trying to figure out? He over there getting water. What's your mind one That's good. That's the bag. I like now, that. Where, where can they, where can they pick up? Food. We all over here spiced out. Like that. That, that, that yeah, you water dudes just spread the walls out. Delicious. So where can they where can they yeah, get can, yeah because yeah, they over here y'all need to try this man yeah. good, it's hot man. I ain't gonna lie it's hot it's building <laughs> it's, it's building it's definitely where hot. where can they but, find you in Mount Rainier so I just so my urban just farm is where I live no, so it's in my backyard the okay. other um, urban farm space that I, that I have that's is right off of Rhode Island Avenue so okay. it's gonna be near um, thirty eight and, 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 and it's fast. every day they out there every day or is it just a weekend thing kind of a I mean, it's the off season. So okay, we're okay, out okay. There now, but in the spring, we'll be there. We'll have um, when you see some the people workshops. out there. Most Ooh. likely, you're gonna be out there yeah. with the people. Oh, great! I, actually, yeah. I can do that. I can that do, that. Yeah. do that. We'll yeah. have some workshops. We'll um, we'll be set up. You know, as, as look, y'all. They they everything. not even keeping all the information to themselves. They sharing it in the workshops. And is, is it free or you have to pay for it? Or how does some, some are paid, some are free. Okay, yeah. okay. It, it, it'll be a good balance. They working with you. Some are paid, some are free. You might get the first one for free and then you might enjoy it and you go back and you pay. There you go. Or some more information. Yeah, mm-hmm. now, just but real until quick, then, you we, uh, just support, with, time, support when you can. These, though. What, yeah, so absolutely. So, these, see, so, so these are some of the con- um, condiments that I have. The peppery crunch is going to be um, really uh, garlic forward. Um, stays crunchy, is great as a condiment. So spread it on breads and stuff like that. And you guys can taste that as well. Um, the everything crunch is, if you ever heard of like the everything bagel spice. Not a fan. Not a fan? So no, it, it, I added um, some flakes in it, so it's a little spicy. And then the oil again, it can be used to season your food. You can do you know what it look like. It might you this know what honey. it look like. What it might this? be good on some pasta. Yes. What would this be good for? The hot honey. Oh, the so hot honey. Spicy yeah, I can, honey. I just like put that on tea? a spoon. But you know, you can do it in teas. Yeah. You can do it on bread. But it's a spicy honey though. It's like, a spicy honey. You can put it on the biscuit. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I had a spicy. spicy a spicy honey or a, a spicy peanut butter one time, and it was mm-hmm. uh, it was interesting. Mm-hmm. Wasn't bad. Yeah. Cayenne cool. pepper stuff like that. Well, yeah. So how can people mm-hmm. reach you again? I mean, I, excellent, man. I mean, Absolutely. The sauce is pretty good. Yeah. So I am at relish um, relishmarket.com. You can reach me at info at relishmarket.com. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm also under the handle Pepperly Love. Um, follow me there. Follow me at um, Relish Market and Relish we do Market events. and Pepperly Love, mm-hmm. y'all. Mm-hmm. Check it out, man. The heat, the heat doesn't last long. It's pretty good. Um, it's, it's actually good. It's actually yes. good. It wasn't mm-hmm. wasn't overbearing. And imagine if it was on something. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We exactly. Had right. Exactly. Right. 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 On a pizza, whatever, bread, chicken, whatever you want to put it on. I don't know about the pizza. Well, thank you oh, so, pizza. so, so oh, much. On the pizza. Oh, pizza. Oh, I just had pizza. Oh, I just had pizza. I was like, what? On a pizza, pizza. whatever know. you want to put it. Your house well, on. thank you so, so much for coming You're through. Um, so much. Thanks for having me. We, we going to be sniffling, man? I thought you were sniffling. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, get us some tissue going around and stuff like that. Everybody, uh, Miniature break. Miniature, miniature break. Short person break. Little person break. <laughs>
June since 22, 24, 26, 32, I was plenty blue. Stuff in your park, babe. Snuff on with my fuck stick. 22 cent booty pig. 24 main movie flare. 26 mile high club. Three sims in a bathtub. Geechee for the lap up. Pray to God you meet each other in the mall or something. Ask you to hate me, cause I fucked her best friend. She wanted to be a lesbian. Me too. Fat bitch on the E2. Fat boom on E2. Beat you. Slide to your wall walls. Ebony. POV. Met you on poor her. Hashtag. All cats. Fat ass. No water. Fuck his muddy daughter. We're back, we're back, we're we back, and back. we're here. We are joined with Dave from Soapbox Soaps. Welcome What's up, to Dave? our show, Dave. What's, up, Mike? What's going on? Now, in between breaks, you're going through the smells, man. This stuff smells amazing. Please tell, well, I'm going to go through the smells while you tell us all about Soapbox Soaps. Of course, man. Uh, so first off, I feel bad because you... <laughs> did you get? Did you get to smell some? No, I didn't get to no, smell it actually. Uh, no, so uh, coconut. I know I'm, I'm like messing up for you guys. Like, oh no, no, no! Do you do you think that when he does? Yeah, these are all yours. <laughs> like, and there's even no, don't know. Uh, don't get nothing. He but don't not get now. Nothing. No, he don't get right, nothing. So we got okay, right. okay. He gets nothing. Uh, so uh, soapbox basically starts in my college kitchen. Uh, okay. Back in 2010, mm -hmm. uh, the whole reason that we started this brand is every time someone buys one of our products, regardless of what it, whatever we make, we donate a bar of soap. Oh, uh, social responsibility, order. folks! Yeah. Social responsibility. I like that. I like that. Thank you. I like uh, that. That's uh, real responsible. It's definitely it's definitely a uh, team effort. Um, but we work with like um, Thrive DC uh, down the road. We work with. Uh, Marion's Kitchen, Martha's Table. Mm -hmm. um, we also have the the privilege and honor to work with. Uh, that happens Sorry. so many times. Uh, There's so many times I'm like I'm gonna buy. I should have just clicked it, but no, 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 this happens. I'm just glad you didn't get like on your nose because no. that's the other thing that happens. I could have just. And it's like yeah, all right. So, anyways, <laughs> uh, so the whole reason that we started Soapbox it was all about the mission. I thank used to. You. Oh, thank you. Uh, I used to work for the United States Agency for International Development as a subcontractor, wanted to change the way that we were doing a lot of our water sanitation and hygiene work. Um, so called up my best friend back in 2010, was like, hey, we're going to start a soap company. He was like, have you been watching too much Fight Club? <laughs> mm, uh, look at you. You start making soap in your kitchen. <laughs> like, uh, this is suspicious. Um, so uh, literally just Google how to make soap. I was just about to say that, right, how do you do this? Like, I'm looking at, you know what all this stuff is? Like, yeah, they, so, yeah, so the funny thing is, uh, Google can teach you a lot. Oh, yeah, Google it's University. Like, <laughs> yeah, shouts out, shouts out to Google. As, as long as you're willing to make mistakes and, and learn from them. But, um, but so, we, so we, we got started in 2010. We all kept our full-time jobs. We started going to, like, farmer's markets. We started going to, uh, uh, like, local mom and pop shops. Like, we just heard no so many times that we were like, look, we can hear no some more. So we just kept on going until we heard yes. Uh, and then we got into our first major retailer in 2012. 
We then had our second major break with Target in uh, 2014. Target then led to Walgreens. Walgreens led to Rite Aid. Rite Aid oh, led to my. So Amazon, people can go to their regular stores and all that. Y'all hear it. Y'all hear it. Y'all hear it. Target, Rite Aid, Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. So it's just look for the amber bottles. Uh, look for the amber bottles. I, I, f- I feel bad. I only brought uh, our shampoo and conditioner. We'll fight for it. Oh, y'all got more? Y'all got, what, what y'all got balls or soap and all that too? Y'all we'll fight. Yeah. Body I have, wash. I have the most hair, so I should get first. Day. That ain't even fair. That ain't even fair. That ain't even fair. <laughs> That ain't even fair. That ain't even, that Y'all ain't can even, fight over the other sorry. two bottles. That ain't even fair. That ain't even fair. I mean, it smells. It smells absolutely amazing. It, it does. Um, and like you said, you can get them any and everywhere. Local stores, Walmart. Uh, what is? What is? What? Is, oh, let me see that coconut. Let me see that coconut. So is that a process? Like you know, like from start to finish. You know, like is it? Oh, it yeah. take a while to. Uh, oh, I, I would say the biggest. Th- so like. Uh, for any any viewers or any listeners that are interested in going in like consumer products, mm-hmm. um, it's it's a like retail okay, so is incredibly difficult just because there are multinational conglomerates that are spending you know tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars every year to market and promote their products. Right. Right. So uh, you know specifically. We knew this getting into this, uh, and we were just like, look, you know, we care about the mission, so let's let's just do as much good as we can. But Procter & Gamble is the world's largest advertiser by dollar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, we are going to war against gigantic aircraft carriers, and we're in a dinghy without a motor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so in a row, in a rowboat, going yeah, down the river. Like, right, right. With no rows. keep going. Right, right. With no, 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 no oars. Just, like, just nothing. Like, it's okay. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. But, 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 but natural, um, local is what's not so much in anymore. I, I don't want to say in, but I want to say like that's the thing now. Everybody's trying to cut the amount of hands, the amount of products, the amount of you know chemicals. Big corporations. It's just, it's just not. It's the it's the it's the age of the little guy now. Man. It's, it's everybody wants mm. the little guy. I've noticed. I mean, at least in my circle, everybody wants the little guy to win. The big guy's won. He's been winning. He's he's you know. He's won enough. Yeah, he's won enough. He's he's good. You know, Procter and Grant Gamble are good. You know, uh, Unilever. Mm-hmm. They're, you know, they're they're all those are fine. You know, they. Mm. So you know, and then those companies own stuff outside of what you think that they own. They own ice cream and you oh, know, yeah, a lot of you know, a lot of mm-hmm. stuff like that. So this is this is this is really we're over here. So right, what other products you say you have? You say you have what? Bars of soap? You have Body uh, wash. So we, we do uh, body wash. We do liquid hand soap. We do bar soap. Uh, we're actually launching lotions. Uh, lotions. Uh, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, which personally I think is, is one of the best products. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's lotion? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have like a refill bag. We have bath bombs. We have hair oils. We have a, like a leave-in deep conditioner that's coming in in like uh, about like four or five months. Um, so we're, we're super excited about just taking – all the lessons that we've learned over the past eight years, mm-hmm. uh, and then just applying them towards you know how can we how can we be nimble and how can we move around those gigantic aircraft carriers right. to create a product that people really love so that we can just give more. They smell amazing. Um, Thank you. That's step one. They 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 they, they, they smell <laughs> they amazing. Smell fresh. Um, I don't know if I have enough hair to see how well they do. Um, they smell. Uh, you know what's funny? I forget that I have a beard yeah, and I need to and I yeah, wash my so beard. Yeah. So you know yeah, what I'm saying? Huh? Yeah, it doesn't grow what's here, the, but it grows here. So I'll yeah. definitely it smells oh my god. I can't what's get the, what's over What's the this. foam factor like? Does it get foamy? Like, yeah. you know, it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like that. It smells yeah, it get nice and thick on the joint. In, important to note is that um, we uh, and, and this is this is like just a, an amazing like opportunity to have this type of conversation. Um, I think so about four, year ago, four years ago, we started making shampoo and conditioner, mm-hmm. uh, and we started getting all these write-ins that were like, you know, I uh, found Soapbox at Retail This. You guys are the only brand I use on wash day. I was like, hold up. What is wash day? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and then as we started leaning in, we were just like, wow, you know, we, we put so much uh, moisturizing mm-hmm. agents uh, like shea butter and aloe vera and the different uh, heavy oils that we put into each of our shampoo and conditioners as well as the other stylists that we have, mm-hmm. um, that we started getting discovered by like the kinky and curly hair community. Uh, they were just saying like, hey, I have like 3D to 4C type of hair and I like using your hair regimen. You Google that? Person. What is 3D mm-hmm. yeah, to right, 4C right, hair? Exactly. Yeah, there you go. Next <laughs> Google search. Well, Google so, search. So, so <laughs> it's, right. And it's, it's really, it's, uh, you know, with a, such a sensitive topic as like hair texture, 
um, we were just like, okay, we really want to do this right before we just go like run into this like market. Um, so we made sure that we had the right type of representation in part of our team, and we made sure that we had the right type of uh, represent representation in terms of our, our marketing. And mm -hmm. then we just just started going to fairs. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, let me tell you, Joke. it is super funny when like when when I'm at like a natural hair show. And I'm like, let's talk about your hair. And like, uh, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. No, let's, let's, let's talk about my hair real quick. I'm excited to try these products because I keep my hair wrapped up a lot because it's hard to find products that keep my hair moisturized. Yeah. I have natural hair and it, it gets dry. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's a balance. It's a, okay, I'll use this and then I'm going to use it for yeah. three months. I have to see how it does because sometimes you don't use things long enough right. to really see how it does. And so I'm excited to try it out and see how it does because I like to wear my hair out, but I can't wear it out but for so many days in a row before mm. it gets to a point where I'm like, okay, mm. now it looks like a matted, dry yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. tumbleweed. Did you, do the, <laughs> did you do like the, the proboscis test? Where I think I did, but I forgot what it. I think it floated. It floated. It's all about like floating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. About, like, floating yeah. And, and then I have a different moisture. texture up here than I have back here. Yep. Hmm. It's just a whole another. Was show, it trial and error before? I think, you I, think got I might got thing. that a different texture here than I got. I definitely got some. But how much trial and error was it before you finally came up with the? You know, because I know off a jump you just then oh this is the formula like then a little bit of this and more uh, of that and less of that like how long did that process take yeah, before so you we, finally uh, was able to do it it's an excellent question we we had the right type of partners uh that we were able to go back and forth and consistently uh just believe that hey you have to you have to consistently tweak to get it right mm -hmm. um i'd say that the biggest mistake so so years in terms of improving upon it, but mm -hmm. thankfully we got the jump uh, by having the right type of partners at the get-go. Mm -hmm. And we're like, okay, so hey, we can walk you through this and share some of the things that we've learned. Okay. Um, I would say that because of our mission and because the whole reason that we got into to building a consumer product company um, was was about creating a platform that we could give back. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and thankfully that has allowed us to yeah. jump into partnerships. So, so um, the hope. So mm -hmm. we're so very grateful. Hope. We have a uh, global partnership with Marriott, uh, so we do the little hotel amenities. What? Oh, yeah, what? what? How long y'all been around? How long are you, been are you doing serious? This so, I've used you something of yours. I've been he in America the last year. You, how long, how long <laughs> oh, have you been in this? We, we, we have a long, long way to go. Uh, so we've been around for eight years. Eight years. Okay. Uh, they doing big things. This guy, man, humble. Oh man, humility all over the place. No, 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 no. But, but, I, but I really mean that like, and I, I, because like, I, I think for us, it's like every time that we feel like we've hit uh, another milestone, we just look up and be like, okay, th and there's this much more to go. Um, so That's beautiful. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. No, <laughs> that's beautiful. I mean, honestly, that could be better said. But I think, I think for us, um, hand washing with soap uh, can prevent so many types of illnesses. If you look at like acute respiratory disease, you're looking at about 33%. If you're looking at diarrhea-related diseases, for children under the age of five around the world, you're looking at 50%. Oh, sure if you actually, if you want to take uh, uh, all of preventable deaths that happen with children under the age of five that happen every year, 24% are wash related. So like mm -hmm. water, sanitation, hygiene, mm -hmm. um, AIDS and malaria combined make up seven. What? So if you're looking at 24, 24 percent right, of children to, keep your grubby, pa die grubby because hands, grubby hands off the kids. Wash their hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it also does like clean water, and it comes in. Yeah, yeah. And like, I don't mean to laugh about that. Because like, the water right. dirty, because you touch it with grubby. your dirty hands. Right. You say y'all don't <laughs> grubby, need a bar. Two grubby so paws. Each, that's don't that's nobody touch the babies. So, so just, each yeah. bottle purchased a if you walk bar into a Safeway, if you walk into a Target or Walgreens or Rite Aid and you buy one of our it is our commitment to donate that bar of soap. If go. nothing, if nothing, if if nothing else, else right. for the amber bottle, y'all. That's, that's the reason. Else, if anything that's else, that's the reason. Yeah. You know, um, are you Tom lovers? The you know, reason. you know, I love my Toms. They, they send a pair. Um, some socks that I buy. They you buy socks. They send socks. Yeah. 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 If, if any concept. other reason, that was you know, the first concept. I did you buy Bob us? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, no, no. Look, I'm, 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 great. It's something I've gotten I'm into as I right as, as I gotten so older. I've gotten into more social, you know, a social responsibility with this stuff. I got um, I, I, Shay Aileen. I got we had a lady from Peru that does that. Seventy nine dollars to the side for some bombas. Yeah. 
Don't see. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't get go. my bombers yet. I ain't find that seventy nine yet. But I'm gonna I'm get the seventy nine to give me the three pair. I'm gonna get it. So I'm gonna get, get it. There. I'm gonna get the three pairs. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> dope, I saw dope. it. I yeah, looked so, it up. So, yeah, they don't the soul, it. But the soul, like I said, I was just telling the, the uh, lady from Shea Gay Lean. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She does the, the shea butter. She sources it from, you know, mm-hmm. pays livable wages. Uh, the yeah, lady from right. yeah, right, DeFaro, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So thank you so much. And that's yeah, probably one of the reasons that. why you guys are succeeding so much is because you're doing something for somebody else, which always comes back to you. Tenfold. What's the price point for the people when they go in? Safeway Targets. when they go and target with they CVS, dun dun dun. Walgreens. So, so like, <laughs> believe it or not, what, what do you think that costs? Five bucks. Oh, this is fun. He says five. What do you think? Seven. See, I ain't good with stuff like that. I'm gonna say about twelve. Man, this is this is been interesting. Price is right. All right, so I say the twelve range. Twelve range. So that is six ninety nine. I was right. I told you. I was right. Look, I figured like I this. Right. You can't right. give it away right. if you. Seven dollars. It doesn't seem right for him to be like hitting us with thirteen dollars right and giving right away. It just seems somewhere, right. in somewhere in the middle. But uh, but I'll tell you what, that was what's, my thought what's what's really interesting, and this is like for anyone who is like listening, watching that, like it's like, hey, I, I really want to build a social mission driven company. Uh, one of my friends who runs uh, this bar saves lives, which is a, a similar company where they make this delicious granola bar. Uh, they have a couple like celebrities that that basically co-founded it with them. Um, they've done really well on the West Coast and they're coming to the East Coast. And uh, he always says, uh, "Great causes don't sell good products. Great products support good causes." Like at the end of the day, like people are looking for a great product. The socks are amazing. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. mom is like mm-hmm. socks are dope. Period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked it up. I looked it up. But why not? Yeah, why not? I love socks. Yeah, I, I do too. Socks. You know, I got the whole sock drawer. I yeah. love mm-hmm. socks. So, like, so I definitely us, had to check yeah. it out. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, for us, it had to be. Uh, we had to get the design right. We had to have the price point right. We had to have so you got fragrances someone right. right. Now. Let me feel we, it. Had to, we had to basically the, like we had to make all. Of is that the one that we? Uh, she's feeling the socks right now, everybody. <laughs> so like we, we had to like. <laughs> good texture, good texture. Just like okay, the commercial okay, okay. said. Just like the commercial said. Just like it said. Just true, like it said. Uh-huh. We had to, we had to get all of it right. Um, yeah, and I, and yeah. and, I, and there's another part where basically like, uh, I'm I promise I'm done after this. Uh, we also made a ton of mistakes. So, like, if, if anyone listening is like, what is this soapbox nonsense? Uh, it's soapboxopes.com. Uh, but if you Google search just soapbox soaps, you'll see what we used to look like. And what we used to look like was awful. Uh, mm-hmm. We had a lot of parts of the equation right. So we had, you know, a good product at a good price point with uh, really good placement and really good distribution. And we had all these all these things figured out in the equation. But the branding was just not good. Mm. Like it, it looked like, and all that has to come together: the branding, all, the product, the marketing, all that. And yeah. then you have to sprinkle. You in see this? But people, true, it, true, it true. it's true. only going to work and come together if you stick with it. Don't give up, people. Quit. That's the bottom line. Don't give up on your dream. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your mission. Thank you, right. thank you, that's thank you so yeah. much, Dave, that's for coming through. That's the way you start through. the new year off, though. That's yeah, that's, that's for the new year, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's, that's New Year's show for you. Get your natural on, get your get your green thumb on, get your, your urban gardening, get your support, support on. Other. Yeah, definitely. Check, man. The hot sauce was great. Yeah, hot sauce, yeah. Shouts out. Pepperly love. I'm going to let you know about this. Look um, for the amber bottles, y'all. This guy has some uh, breakage. I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to let y'all know. Trust and believe, I'm going to let y'all know. Yeah, Relish Mark. Wash my hair with this and I'm going to come in here with my bush soaps. out. <laughs> this has been another great addition. Another good one, man. The yeah. one. The only. The, the Two Real, Real Radio. Radio. See y'all next week. <laughs>